We are so excited to begin this massive project to remove um, an invasive plant called acacia, which is local to Africa and Australia, but it's made its home here in Palos Verdes in the Palos Verdes Nature Preserve. So today we're celebrating uh, the work to remove 22 acres of this acacia plant in partnership with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes. This particular plant was identified by LA County Fire as being one of the most high hazard plants. The city of Rancho Palos Verdes is certainly concerned about all the potential fire hazards and so we are working with our partners the Palos Verdes uh, Peninsula Land Conservancy to find ways to best remove non-native uh, plants that are really have grown this year because of all the excessive rains and great rains we've had unfortunately they have everything grows and so one of the items is the acacias and we're going to be working with them to be removing as many as we can uh, with about a $200,000 uh, push of money through to uh, minimize the amount of fire hazards we have out here. With the fires that have occurred in Paradise and some of the other areas, we found that uh, we really need to be proactive about some of our combustible trees and bushes. This is the most combustible. This is a, an acacia that is uh, slated to be removed and so it looks really green on the outside but on the inside it's all dry and so it and it has tons of seeds and so the thing is it proliferates real real heavily um, wherever it goes and mammals move the seed around and so the the more we leave the trees, the more it's going to continue to proliferate. And so it is a, a long, uh, long process to to remove these because we got to remove the physical tree, but then we got to continue to maintain the area and pull the seedlings because there's thousands and thousands of little seeds under here. Over the 22 acres of the acacia that we removed, it will take us about four to six weeks to remove all of the acacia. We have two arborist crews working simultaneously with chainsaws and chippers to remove the material from the preserve. We're also excited to be using goats and to remove evasive plants at San Ramon Reserve. And this is by the switchback area along PV Drive East. There's about 14 acres of mustard there and the goats will be working for about a week or two to eat and trample down this dry mustard. It's a great example of a collaboration with the Land Conservancy as well as city staff to do the clearance. Um, obviously this is just one important step that the city can help lead but awareness of our community is so critical as well. So. There'll be more education that comes out. I implore certainly all, all of our residents in the community to do everything possible to ensure our ultimate readiness uh, in case of, of potential fires in our community.